I am Hall of Fame coach Van Chancellor. This is my van. This is Coach's in a van with Coach Van. Coach has been coaching a long time. You've been actors, you were a great player, you're now coaching. What kind of keeps you going? What gets you up in the morning and so enthused and ready to coach? Well, we got to correct one thing now. You're the second person that said I was a great player. I was a legend in my own mind. That's about how good I was. <laughs> well, you played at Rice. Uh, I'm, that's the second question. Go ahead and answer the first question. What was the first question? But the first question, how in the <laughs> world did you get into Rice? That's what I want to know. You know what? I was, uh, I was a good high school basketball player and, and growing up in the Washington, D.C. area back in the 70s and uh, had a chance to go to a lot of schools. My dad said, if you get a great education, nobody can ever take it away from you. And I wanted to go to school in the south in a big city, and I landed here in Houston and loved every minute of it. Okay, now how do you keep the enthusiasm going with, with, with a great coaching career? You've been national coach of the year and everything else in 92 and coach of the year in this league. How, how do you keep the enthusiasm going? You know, the, the truth of the matter is I've watched a lot of great coaches, guys like yourself, over the years, and they all have great relationships with their players. And I made a conscious decision that I was going to really enjoy the experience of being with my players, and that's what I look forward to the most. And when you have good people around you, you wake up every day, good coaches, good good administrators, and most importantly, good players who are good people. That's that's really what drives me every day. Okay, I've not asked one basketball question. I'm going to ask this one. Amid is a shooting guard for you. I, he takes shots from a lot of different places. Do you have trouble with that at times? <laughs> I think you know the answer to that. <laughs> Is that a, really a basketball question, or is that a, a question of tolerance and temperance? But no, no Amit is a—he's a great player, and you have to let great players make plays. He's one of those guys that just has a motor. He has a motor like no guard I've ever seen, no guard I've ever coached, and and he's capable of doing a lot of things. He's a guy that wants the ball in his hands. He's not afraid to take take risk. Sometimes those risks don't pan out, and it and it maybe doesn't feel as good, but you know what? He's going to come back on the very next one, knock it down, get your steal, get your rebound where you need it. I mean, I think you got a shot to be player of the year in this league. I said this as a compliment. I really, really enjoy covering you on television. I, I meant that as a compliment. Okay, Coach, you're down on the coast. It's just beautiful down there. How you keep your players' attention all the time? I, there's, there's 24 hours in a day. Oh, uh, so there's enough time for the beach. There's enough time for the breeze. Plenty of time for basketball and plenty of time for books. So we, we just help them manage their time. Well, get them from one place to another. They can do whatever they want when they're there, and they have a they have a good time. It's really a healthy, wholesome environment. Living on the beach, you know, for our kids, they wake up and their view out of the dorm room is looking at the water. Oh. There, there aren't many places that can make that claim. Well, if I was back 17 years old, you could sign me. Good luck to you, coach. Now, I wasn't good enough, but you could have signed me. I'll tell you that. Thank you.